to Fame Story TV, the channel that brings you the untold stories of those who left their mark on the world. Today we remember and celebrate the lives of remarkable individuals who have sadly passed away. But before we dive into their incredible journeys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our daily stories. Esme Timbury was born on 14 February 1931 in Australia. Timbury was an Australian bidjigal artist and shell worker. Timbury's shell work had contemporary elements, blended with the traditional medium. Her work is in the collections of several art museums throughout Australia. Timbury's work was exhibited at the 1988 opening of the Powerhouse Museum. In 1997, her work was exhibited at the Manly Regional Museum and Gallery in the show, De Jalaringi, Something That Belongs to Us. Timbury died on 7th October 2023 at the age of 92, and she died naturally. Attila Pesiani was born on 30th April 1957 in Iran. Pesiani was an Iranian actor. Pesiani received a nomination for the Best Supporting Actor Golden Statue for the movies, Two Women, as well as a nomination for the Crystal Simors Best Leading Actor for In Cold Blood from the Fager International Film Festival. Pesiani died on 7th October 2023 at the age of 66, and he died from cancer. William Davidson Munro was born on 21st June 1934 in Scotland. Munro, also known as Bill Munro, he was a Scottish football player and manager. Munro Bill Munro played for Kilmarnock, Barrow and East Stirlingshire. He was appointed manager of Clydebank, owned by the Steedman family who had previously owned East Stirlingshire while Munro was a player there. Munro guided Clydebank to promotion to the Scottish Premier Division in 1977. He later managed Airdrie and also worked in women's football at Cumbernauld Ladies. Munro died on 7th October 2023 at the age of 89 and he died from lung cancer. Lorraine Cunningham was born on 30th June 1935 in United States. Lauren was the founder of the International Christian Missionary Organization Youth with a Mission and the University of the Nations. Lauren claimed to have experienced a vision. In this vision, he described waves on the shorelines of the continents on a world map, eventually growing bigger and bigger, covering the landmass. He claimed that the waves in this vision changed to young people covering the continents, talking to people about their faith. Loren died on 7th October 2023 at the age of 88, and he died from short illness. Mary Kronopoulou was born on 16th July 1933 in Greece. Mary was a Greek actress. She was one of the most popular actresses of the 1960s. Mary Kronopoulou starred in many films, 16 of which were produced by Finos Film. She was one of the main protagonists of Greek theatre. Mary Kronopoulou died on 7th October 2023 at the age of 90, and she died from complications of a fall at an Athens hospital. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the remarkable people who passed away today. If you found this video inspiring and informative, please give it a thumbs up. See you in the next episode.